Hey everyone, this is Stacy at Sequoia's Closet. Today we're going to take a couple minutes to talk about the Britax Frontier Click Tight Harness to Booster Seat. Um, it's come to my attention that maybe a couple folks that have purchased the seat might need a little bit of help with a couple issues that seem to come up and I want to just clarify some things for everybody to tell to, to see together. So um, this is the Frontier Click Tight seat and it has these nice little slots right here. You put your fingers in there and when you squeeze together, the bottom opens up like that, okay? Now you're gonna install it. You're gonna take your seatbelt and you're going to cross it over here, buckle it into your buckle stock and you're just gonna take out the, uh, you're gonna take out the slack. You don't tighten this and you don't need to lock it off. And then when you press down here, you're gonna hear it click. Now it's clicked into place. Um, that's, that's installed. There is a tether strap on the back of this seat that would go back here. My vehicle seat that I'm showing you does not have the tether strap uh, connector, so I did not show you that, okay? But, so remember, you do have to do that when you're installing your seat. Um, but the problem is that people come to, when it comes to the click tight seats, is that when you are trying to release this seat out of the car, you need to take your hand and put down some positive pressure so that when you put your fingers in here and squeeze, that it releases nice and easy, okay? If you have it locked down and you try to put your fingers in here to squeeze, it'll be really hard if there's no positive pressure. The positive pressure helps release those buttons so that it's really easy to open, okay? Also, if you have a problem pushing down and getting it to lock in, this belt is too tight. So if I tried to tighten this like a traditional car seat and then I went down to lock it in and it won't go, you have tightened this to the point of what we call fireman tight. It doesn't have to be fireman tight. So. A good thing to do would be to take the seat belts back, back off and try again if you're at that point. So I pull the seat belt out. Remember, you're going to go through this slot here. You're going to buckle and just make sure that there is no slack in the line. When you press down here, this is going to tighten. And if you want to know whether your seat is tight or not, you can rock it back and forth at the belt path to see if it moves. It shouldn't move one inch. Okay, so um, those are some good tips for the Frontier Click Tight Seat. If you have any other questions about it, let me know and I will be happy to answer them. Have a great weekend, guys.